Hi, hopefully everybody's had a good week. So today um, we're going to be going over the learning outcome number one, which is calculate descriptive statistics on data. So this week we talked about the measures of dispersion, uh, which are range, variance, and standard deviation. So the range is defined as the maximum value minus the minimum value. So in a chart of three, six, and one, the range would be 6 minus 1, which would be 5. Um, the variance is the difference between each score and the mean, squared and then divided by the number of observations minus 1. So the standard deviation is then a measure of variation scores about the mean. Um, it's also the average distance to the mean. It is the most common measure of the statistical dispersion, and it is the most appropriate when the mean is uh, the measure of a central tendency. Um, and a larger standard deviation is correlated to a higher spread, less consistency, and less clustering of data points. If all values are equal, the standard deviations should equal zero. And to calculate the standard deviation, you square root the variance. Um, in talking about curves, the normal shaped bell curve is symmetrical. Um, in skewness, um, it is negatively skewed if it goes higher towards the end, and it is positively skewed if it's higher towards the beginning. Uh, kurtosis refers to the flatness or peakness of the curve. A normal curve is mesocurtic. A flatter curve is platycurtic, um, which is correlated with negative values, and a higher curve is leptocurtic, which is correlated with positive values. Um, and another important thing to remember is that in a normal distribution, mean, median, and mode are always equal.